So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem, add minimum characters. So given a string str, find the minimum characters to be added at the front of the string to make it a palindrome. So let's discuss the question. So we are given a string, example string a, b, c, d, let's say. And our task is to find the minimum characters to be added at the front to make the string palindrome. So let's say my string is a, b, c, d. So my first uh, approach for getting the minimum is to add zero characters. So if I add zero characters, will the string be palindrome? So let's, uh, let's check what is palindrome. Palindrome is something like, let's say my string is something like these boxes. Boxes are the characters. So this character, this character should match. Similarly, this character and this character should match. Similarly, this character should also match. So this is a palindromic string. So since we can see A and D are not matching, obviously it is not a palindromic string. So zero cannot be the answer. Let's go to one. Let's add one character. Now, in the A, B, C, D, which one character should I add? Which one character? A, B, C, D, A to Z, any one I can add? No, I can add only this character. Why? Because if I add D character here, that's only the case when these two elements will be equal. Otherwise, it will not be palindrome. Because if these two elements are not equal, then it will not be palindrome. Let's say I add E here. So what will happen? Obviously, it will not be palindrome. So we have to add the element which is the same as the previous last element. Now, again, we can see if I add D, D, A, B, C, D, it's, uh, they are equal, but A and C are not equal. It's again, not a palindrome. So let's go to next uh, two characters. Okay. So now when I try to add no two characters. So here, let's say I add A, B, C, D. Now what I can add, which two characters I can add. Two characters that I can add, I have already said that for this character, this character should be equal for this string to be palindrome. Similarly, this character, this character should be equal for this string to be palindrome. So if this is D, so first character should be D, so that these two elements, these two characters are equal. Similarly, next element should be C, so that this C and this C should be equal. Okay, so now we can say these two characters added, okay. But A and B are not matching. When D and D are matching, C and C are matching, but A and B are not matching. So it's again not a palindrome. So we can say two characters are also not the answer. So let's try to add three characters. A, B, C, D. No, what three characters? Obviously D, C, and V. So I will say, okay, D and D are matching. C and C are obviously matching. B and B are matching, okay. This part will obviously matter because I am adding the reverse here, obviously. Reverse of this. Now, this is single element. Yes, it is palindrome. So, we can say adding three characters will make the string palindrome. So, answer is equal to three. So, now, how can we approach the question? So, approach is something like whatever I told, this is the approach. Like, what I am doing, I am adding one character. Then, I am adding two characters. Then, I am adding three characters for A, B, C, D. Let's say I have string A, B, C, D. So what I was doing, I am adding one character. Now I'm adding C here. Now I'm adding B here. Then I'm trying to add A here. But you will, uh, you know that you always get palindromic string. Why? Why? Because let's say my string is A, F, E, G, H, anything. So if I make the reverse of it here, H, G, F, E, A. So this will always be palindrome because H, H. G, G, F, F, um, if I add E here, E, N, F, E, E, F, F, N, E, E. So you can say the maximum number of operations the characters should be added are the string length. The maximum can be four, but I have to find the minimum. So we will try to add character one by one. Okay. So for this purpose, I will be using a two pointers approach. So you will get the intuition side by side. So let's understand slowly. So initially n is equals to 7. That means string length is 7. And answer variable is 0. That will maintain the count of variables. Count of characters that need to be added at the front. So i and j pointer are there. Um, such that i is here initially and j is here. So okay. Now we will check if str of i 
is equal to equal to SCRFJ. That means first character is equal to last character. I will say no. Yes. So I have only one one option. What that we can add this character at the front by then only this string will become palindrome because if these two character will palindrome then these two then these two. So we have only one option. We add this character at the front. Okay. So actually we do not add the character at the front. Just we take the count. So we'll say okay. Answer will be equal to one. So just think virtually that this is added. Think like this is added. Okay. Now. Okay. So this is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. Okay. So I pointer will still remain there as it is. But J pointer will shift and it will come here because F is fulfilled now by adding one character at the front. Okay. Now. Now our main focus is this part. Now let's come to this part. Now we can see A and A are matching. So okay, I will say very nice. Let's go I and J ahead. So I will come here and J will come here. Now C and C are matching. Nice. Let's go ahead. I will come here. J will come here. Now we can see A and B are not matching. That means I have only one option. I can add a character at the front. But which character? The last character only. Why? Because if I add the last character, then only the string will remain palindrome F A E F. Okay. So we are satisfying the character one by one. Okay. Starting from the last, you can see. So I will make the answer variable as two and think virtually that this is added. This is added. So F A. This is added and this line will be shifted here that these two characters are satisfied. Okay. Now, now, now we come to here. I and G. Now we can see A and C are not matching. So I have only one option that I can add the C character here such that F A C C A F are satisfied. So what I will do, I will add this C here. Think like virtually that I have added and answer variable will become three obviously and next time this line will shift here that these three characters are satisfied okay now i will check okay a and b are matching uh no so i will say again i have only one option that i will try to add the character f a c i will add this b virtually count will become four and b c a f let's shift the line here that these these four characters are satisfied. Okay. Now I will come to A C A. 0, 1, 2. Now I pointer is here. J pointer is here. I will say if I and J are matching. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead. Is C matching? Yes. So we will break here that our number of minimum number of characters that are required are four. So basically what we have done. Let's say I have F A C B. So if I add F A C B directly here. F F A A C C P P A A C. So we can see this string is parent row. That is the reason what we are doing. We are adding character one by one. F A C B until we get the middle string as parent row. Okay. So what was our main aim? Our main aim was to add a uh, number of characters until my middle string will become parent row. Okay. So. How can we approach this question? We are, uh, so one thing that uh, one question that might arise that uh, how we shift the I pointer and J pointer. So let me tell you now. So let's say I have this example ACA and BCAF. Okay. BCAF. BCAF. And let's say I have added F already. So obviously I will shift only J pointer because only this character is satisfied. So J pointer will come beyond. Okay. Now we will say, okay, A and A are matching. C and C are matching. So when I and J will come here, we can see characters are not matching. So we have to add element at the front only. Element at the front only. So we'll do answer plus plus normally. But how I shift this J and I pointer? Obviously I will come to zero. Why? Because first character uh, will never be satisfied until all characters will be added. As you observe, like F A, A F, then C, C F, C F. So this 
So every time, every time, whenever there is no match, I will come to zero. So every time I will come to zero. But J, but where this J will go? Let's say my two characters are satisfied. So that means J should go come here next time. So that is the thing. We will shift J to N minus one minus answer. For uh, zero base indexing, we are doing N minus one and subtracting for answer. The two characters are satisfied. We should take this part only in consideration. So I will be zero, but J will come to N minus one minus X. Okay. So let's try to code up this approach to better understand this problem. Okay. So now initially, let's say N is equals to str or length. Now, uh, what we do, we have two pointers. I is equals to zero. J is equals to N minus one. And let's say my answer is equals to zero. So I will say do until move until if str of i is equal to equal to str of j so just go normally i plus plus j minus minus then else i have uh, what i do i am adding one character so i am adding one character where at the front only because i have only one option at the front i will shift to zero and where this j will shift j is equals to n minus one minus answer that last two characters are satisfied now our main consideration is zero to uh, beyond these uh, completed characters. Okay, so what do we do? Add the return answer. So let's try to compile it in the code and check whether it's working fine. Yes, so let's try to submit the code. So yes, it's totally working fine. So this was all about code that something we are uh, adding the characters at the front until my middle part will become palindrome okay so so if you like the explanation please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day